It's the year 2004. The Incredibles has released, you're being called an American idiot, the plague known as Facebook has just hit Earth, and Captain Jack, the best player from Japan, is playing against Smash legend Isaiah in grand finals of MLG San Francisco. In fact, not just playing, but beat Isaiah in two 3-0 sets to win grand finals and be the first ever solo chic player to win a major tournament in Melee. Uh, he stopped in a major league gaming in San Francisco for an event, um, and uh, he just took home first prize here. He defeated Isaiah in two sets coming from the loser's bracket to win. It has been zero days since Sheik won a major tournament. Hi, my name is Chayla, and welcome to the channel where I talk about that old video game I like and the people who play it. Now, Captain Jack would not go on to win another tournament. However, I'm sure that Sheik, one of the top five characters in the game, will get another top player rise to the top playing her. This isn't a setup for a joke, we certainly did, and he's pretty well known. Maybe even a god. And not only Mewtwo King, but also Korean DJ, another extremely talented player, both of whom played Sheik. Both of these guys also have major wins. I mean, in 2007, Korean DJ won his own MLG over M2K in Long Island. Please don't judge me, but I didn't know this was a real place. I thought it was just the name of the drink that people like. I mean, is Lipton a place? A anyway, let's check it on the counter now that Korean DJ has won and- Oh, that's strange. Well, apparently he also used Ma for the tournament. Huh. And M2K most definitely has not played just one character to win an event with how matchup obsessed we know he is. I guess this is my segue into talking about melee and its interesting balance, cause I mean it's been 966 days since Solo Sheik won a major. You see, melee is interesting. It's not very balanced. It has very, very strong characters. I mean, the top five characters in the game have been pretty well defined for a few years now. But those top five characters do all have things that balance them out and pretty glaring weaknesses. Fox and Falco get comboed to the TV next to you and back. Puff dies early and Muff struggles against strange matchups. And Sheik, well, Sheik has some pretty dire flaws. I mean, you see, her strengths are incredible. Her walling ability and combo game of grab and knockdown are all amazing. But unfortunately for her, those things aren't so great against a certain member of the top five. <laughs> and unfortunately for Sheik players, that has for a very, very long time now always been either one Mango or one H God at the end of every bracket, ready to abuse Sheik for not being able to grab her, and how much harder it can be to find a kill confirm because of that. It's honestly because of this we have seen M2K, the most prolific Sheik player, for the longest time always end up using Fox in bracket for Puff. Sheik also has issues with Fox. While nowhere near as grueling as the Puff matchup, Fox has some insanely strong stage counter picks that make the matchup feel very, very tough. And finally, although Sheik has a chain grab on a lot of the mid to low tier characters in the cast, there is one character that likes to give her a taste of her own medicine. Ah! Yeah, these little buggers, even without wobbling, have a brutal chain grab on Sheik, even as Sopo. And with Sheik's struggle to beat CC at the early percent game, this matchup with an unlucky draw is the end to a lot of Sheik players' runs. So, you see the obstacles we're up against here. It wouldn't be a long while before we saw another solo Sheik main pop out of the woodworks who would look like they could take a major tournament. I mean, even another player in general, really, it was called the Era of the Five Gods for a reason. But he would come eventually. It has been 3,836 days since solo Sheik has won a major. It's Bad Moon Rising in 2015. Plop, a Samus main from Florida, has just started to dual main Sheik in tournament earnestly, and placed second at the event. Plop would go on to improve his Sheik and eventually phase out his Samus, all while becoming a very real tournament winning threat. 
I say this because Pop was showing the capability to be all of the very best, and even when he lost, it never really looked too bad. Well, except against one person. Pop could not seem to get a leg up on Hungrybox. Every set felt like you could feel Pop's tilt emanating from the screen. This might not have been a chic problem, but a plup problem. I think the Melee Stats guys said it best. If your tag is plup, you find this matchup to be very, very boring. But this matchup, this can't be too good for Luigi. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think whenever I see a puff on screen. Like, Damn, this is not good for, for whatever, for whatever <laughs> X character. I'd actually, I'd actually love actually hearing your guys' thoughts on I would hate to. I despise the characters. And after a great run at Evo, only for it to be stomped out in dominant fashion by the guy you just beat, Plup started to prepare the box. And after one last attempt at EVO 2017, we would almost never see Plup solo chic at a tournament again, as he would find success with his box only the week after, and then he would win his first major tournament in Genesis 5, beating HBox with Fox in Grand Finals. It has been 4,879 days since Sheik won a major. For the next two years, it felt like a dark age for Sheik Believers. I mean, we saw a solo Pikachu main and a solo Captain Falcon main win majors and super majors before a Sheik. A character believed to be a lot better, but now that belief was waning. But in 2022, I feel like we started to see life slowly breathe back into the character. We saw the rise of a lot of new solo Sheik players. The J Sheik started to come out of the woodworks, so many Sheik players with J at the start of their tag that they even hosted a round robin to find the best J Sheik. I mean, <laughs> most significantly though, I think was Ben, a young Sheik from Wisconsin, as he started making runs online and notably held a very strong record against Hungrybox. Which, while yes, Hbox was arguably not in top form, Ben showed that that matchup was not all doom and gloom to an average viewer. While this was great, we still wouldn't see any significant runs from a new solo Sheik player from the return to LAN. And while Plup would give us great Sheik play, seeing him switch off to Fox when things look tough always stung a little to me. I'm, I'm not even a Sheik player. I mean, without the end of 2021, and Fox, Falco, Marth, Puff, Peach, Falcon, Pikachu, and Yoshi have all won a major tournament, but it's been 6,320 days since Sheik won a major. And then, in January of 2022, something that no one saw coming began to unfold. One of the J Sheiks, Jmook, sits down to play Plup, the previous Sheik Bastion at Genesis 8. And, well... Jmook takes a Game 5 set against Plup, almost symbolically setting off what would be a historic run. Jmook goes on to play second at Genesis, being the lowest seeded player to ever get to Grand Finals of a Super Major. Now this is what we are looking for. Jmook would prove it's not a fluke, beating the obstacle that stopped him from winning that Genesis at the following tournament. It really looked like he had the potential to take it at any event. Except there was one big pink circular problem. Solo Sheik's moment! Oh, I think, I think that's, that's it! it. That's and it. Hbox bringing it back in two sets, throwing oh. the chair onto the ground! Hbox once again proves to be a huge fall in the side of the top Sheik player, with a 1-9 and nine record against him. 
At one point, JMUX sat in winner's side of Riptide, but HBox took him out in two sets. But it was 1 and 9. There was some hope, and JMUX had proven himself to be the type of player to have faith in his character. Maybe soon, he would get the run that dodges HBox, or maybe he would overcome him. Well, unfortunately, we wouldn't see that in 2022 and Jimmick will close out the year without a win to follow up his amazing breakout at Genesis. It has been 6,685 days since Sheik won a major. But you read the title. You know that that means we're only a few days away now. And what tournament always starts off the melee year? That's right, Jmook's breakout tournament, Genesis 9. I think you could all see where this is going by now, so I won't keep you waiting. Just. Just, just roll the music. These two players are incredibly skilled, but they also are incredibly plugged in and performing at a high level. With one man, that's it. Wow. Jay with the crack over Zane. They're like real, they like cross up up till or something. I don't know. He'll make some complicated as possible, but I was talking about most people. Oh, no, 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 oh, Jmook goes on an amazing run through Genesis, showing that the Fox matchup ain't no big deal to him, and wins the whole tournament. It had been 6,706 days since Sheik won a major, but now it's zero. Will she win another title this year? Honestly, I think with Jmook's mindset, it's not impossible. I fully expect him to solve that HBox problem and show us once again that Genesis was not a fluke. And honestly, this just once again makes this modern era of Melee so exciting. So make sure you keep watching, because I'm sure this year is going to be filled with so much great Melee. Thanks again for watching. If you like this, check out my other stuff. We have the story of Amsa making history at the Big House 10, or even the whole history of the new up-and-comer Pipsqueak. Whatever takes your fancy. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe.